everybody. Um, it's Georgi Kader, co-founder and CEO of Imaga. I'm very happy that this is the start of our new uh, video blog, which is called Imaga Founders Thoughts. And with this, uh, we aim to share some professional advices for your business and entrepreneurial life that can eventually be useful. We'll try to keep this short in about two minutes so you can take maximum advantage in a minimum amount of time. So our today's topic is about negotiations. Negotiations in a very broad sense are something essential for our communication. It doesn't necessarily need to be communication uh, with your customers. It can be even with your employees, your partners, your vendors, even your family members or a significant others. You know, <laughs> when you need to negotiate something, uh, there's always some useful tips that you can take into account. So the first one is to make sure you clearly understand and also that you are clearly understood. It's very common that in communication we like overhear things and we miss the sense of what the other person is trying to tell us. And also we are not very clear and explicit about what we want. So the first tip is try to make sure you clearly understand, if needed, restate what you've understood from the other person demands and uh, also make sure that they understand yours. So once this is done, uh, the second uh, major tip is to try to dig deeper and eventually find out what is the reason behind uh, the current demands. So not just what they want, but why they want it. Because sometimes if there's misalignment, if there are discrepancies in the things that we want and the other party wants, it's just something that can be fixed on a more abstract level. So something that's behind the what, uh, and it's the why. So try to uncover this and also try to be open about your why. And the third one, uh, based on what it turned out to be the essentials that you want, what are the most fundamental and basic uh, demands that you have uh, lying behind the particularities, you need to figure out how to find a win-win situation. Um, I think this is a real must-have in any kind of negotiations. If you want to, even if you have the upper hand and you want to take advantage of this, this is not a good long-term strategy because at the end of the day, you want a sustainable partnership and a sustainable partnership cannot be created in an uneven outcome situation. So um, to second myself, try to find a win-win situation, iterate until you find it. If it's clear what you want and what the other person wants, you're going to find something uh, that's mutually beneficial. Especially about business, you can think that, you know, in business we want to be successful and we want our partners to be successful. At the end of the day, that's why we're doing business and we provide products and services. So these are the three tips for today. Make a clear understanding, dig deeper to the original reason and find a win-win situation. I hope you find this useful uh, and I'll be happy to hear next week. Bye-bye.